Hello and welcome to Talk About It, the candid conversation show with Muriel and Ruby, where we discuss topics that are unspoken and taboo in our community. We have the pleasure of having a conversation with Eric Gray, actor, businessman, and entrepreneur. We will be discussing the rise, his rise as an actor, entrepreneur, and so many more things. <laughs> Eric, welcome to the show. Hi, how you guys doing? Doing well, great. Well, how are you? Great. Doing great. I mean, I'm in the presence of two beautiful women. Well, thank, thank you. So you. Much. It's always we a pleasure. It. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. We believe that everyone has a story to share. Yes. And we believe caring, sharing is caring. Mm -hmm. We would like for you to share some of your story. Can you start with how was it growing up in your household? Oh, it was interesting. Um, I started off growing up in a single parent household, but okay. unlike a lot of people, uh, my father raised me. Oh, um, really? Yeah, most of my life. Okay. Until about 15 or so. Okay. 14, 15. So that was interesting, being raised by a man mm -hmm. in his household. Mm -hmm. Cooking wasn't probably as good as <laughs> right. Man. But uh, he definitely um, instilled some some good moral morals in me, and you know the drive to want to be successful. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's good. Where was mom? Oh well, mom. She was a single parent also. Okay. I have multiple brothers and sisters. And okay. She was spending her time trying to raise them or whatever, and. She ended up having an issue, which is very common in the community. Yes, she ended up having a drug issue. Oh, okay. And Sorry so to hear about in that. in my younger years, um, I just remember going through some of those times when my mom, like, you know, um, had to go visit her at, like, little centers or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. But in the end, she turned completely around and good. just been a great mom. Awesome. Man. That's good. Man, listen, strongest woman I know. I love her to death, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She doesn't hide anything about where she's been, how far she's come. Yeah, she loves to tell her story. She's been through, mm -hmm. yeah, she's been through a lot, and uh, man, she, lives she here? gives a lot. Yeah, she, she, she definitely here? does, okay. she definitely does. And you know, I ended up moving with her when I was like 15 or so. Okay. And that was the experience, because it was just total different, different. types mm -hmm. of mindsets mm -hmm. or whatever, but yeah. How was it though, when living with your father, didn't you miss your mom? Did you feel something was missing? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I couldn't wait to the weekends. Yeah. Because that would be her time to get okay. me or I would go there. Okay. And, man, it would just be like my whole week would be just in preparation to, to being see able her. to go see her on mm -hmm. the weekends and my other brothers that's and sisters. Serious. Because that's I come serious. from a family of six. Wow, you know, that's a big boys, family. Three girls. Uh -huh. So, yeah, definitely. That yeah. is good. Well, we know a little bit about your story. I call it, I would say, From the Streets to the Screens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that title. It's a what good book. What you think about that? It's a good book. That's a good book. Not only that, that would be a good movie. You think so? I Could think I so. share that? Sure. Oh, okay. Did <laughs> you buy it? Sure. I, I sure <laughs> would. <laughs> so I know you have a story, and we don't have a lot of time, but I know you can tell us a little bit about what I mean by From the Streets to the Screens. Hmm. hmm. Because well, everyone, you know, we all have a story, right? Right. All of us have a story. Well, my story is a little interesting. I was supposed to graduate from high school at 12 years old. 12? Right. I was doing fractions at four. My, oh my father goodness. was yeah, a brain. teacher. Doogie Hauser. Sort of, right? <laughs> and it's so interesting because I went from that to not graduating. Mm. Oh, okay. And I went back to graduate, but the streets, I yeah. found okay. myself. Calling you. Caught up caught up trying to fit in yes. you know what I mean and peer pressure, peer pressure. Okay. so I always tell parents man peer pressure, peer pressure is very strong oh, yeah. very real and a lot of time we don't give light to the pressures that come with being a kid mm -hmm. you know because we right. people tend to look up to people in the age group and no matter how much knowledge you come with, they can't identify with you because the people that they're around right. mm -hmm. you know and so um I ended up, like I say, being in the streets. Mm -hmm. um, you let the streets raise you, huh? Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't even know where to start with that. But I had a, 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 a extensive career um, in the street, okay. running around. Mm -hmm. and did you ever get arrested? Get ever get in, yeah. in trouble with the police? Definitely did. Okay. Definitely did. I did some juvenile things mm -hmm. and 
and as an adult, and I, I just I used to have a mouthful of gold teeth. Not to say that gold teeth right. make you a bad person, right, right, right. but at 15, I had all the gold teeth in my Look, mouth, you, and I was like, "Where you making all this money to get this gold?" Right? You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. And and I was out. I thought the streets were what was needed to be able to equal the playing field. Mm -hmm. But what we, made you change? What happened? What happened that just that you just well, I learned that money isn't everything. It's okay. not. It's just a device that we can use mm -hmm. to make life better. That's right. But if you're caught up in a bad life, it just makes life worse. Yes. Right. And also, I lost a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, as a teenager, mm -hmm. a lot of my friends got killed. Oh, no. And, you know, a lot of my friends got life in prison. And I've I just seen this just happen. Mm -hmm. It's like... It's not a dream. It's not imaginary. Right. This is for real. for real. Like, and I watch what happened to their families exactly. after that. Exactly, it affects I, you. I watch what mm -hmm. happened to their kids. Right, they have to live without them. Well, right, not being in the home. Right. right, and I had to say, hey, how you doing? Right. You talk to your father, things like that, yeah. and it's not worth it. It's not. It's not worth it. It's it's. It, it can seem fun, but man, that fun goes away. Yeah. You know, you may have two, three years of success, and now you're doing 45 years in the cell. Unbelievable. Or you may have two, three years of success, and now you forever in the grave. Right. I always tell people, you know, life is short, death is long. Ooh, mm. I like that. Okay. And I live by that. So you need to make sure that every second, every moment, every minute counts. Mm -hmm. counts Absolutely. Right? Make it count. Mm -hmm. Right? And mm -hmm. when we die, what will we leave? Right. What legacy will we leave? Will I leave a, le a legacy of death and despair mm -hmm. and hurt? Or will mm -hmm. I leave one of um, happiness, growth, That's right. change, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, generational curse. Yes. So right. I you break broke, them. broke it. I believe and we break to those. Break them. Mm -hmm. right. We break those. And that's 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 very important in life, mm -hmm. breaking those curses. Yes, absolutely. Understanding what they are. You that's know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And not getting caught up with um, trying to live for the Joneses, mm -hmm. trying to be the Joneses. That's right. Because usually the Joneses <laughs> want to be the whites. <laughs> that's true. You know? It's true. So, that's you know, true. you get caught up in a lie. Yes. And you have to figure that out. So, you know, I just thank God that I had the opportunity to figure it out, mm -hmm. that I didn't be a statistic mm -hmm. in that way. Mm -hmm. I'm a statistic to show that we That's can great. all change but no matter happened? where you come from. Why? Why did, did you change? Yes. When did the change happen? Mm -hmm. Well, kids oh, okay, are a okay. big thing. Yeah. You know? Very and, big thing. Um, years ago, I, I had a girlfriend, and she had a... A son, and I, I think I started dating her. She was, he was probably about one, mm -hmm. okay. right around one Tyler, and I dated her and for about two or three years, okay. and her, her best friend, and my son, because I felt he was mine. Right. I raised him, mm -hmm. and, and her friend's daughter died in a car oh accident. My oh no! And that kind of just really changed me from that point okay. too, because I Wake just up. seen no matter who you are. Death can come. It doesn't matter. Anyone. Right? Right. Doesn't matter. And I don't care about the How goods you, you put have. out, mm -hmm. the, the money you mm -hmm. have. Right. It can happen, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And that kind of just made me change. And um, from that point, I just was like, I want to do something different. Okay. I, I want to, you know, I, I, I want to put something good in the world. Absolutely. Even in the times where I was out, where I would consider myself destructive, I still would spend time trying to do positive things. I, I, I wasn't right. I didn't just plunder or whatever. <laughs> right. I tried to do better mm -hmm. within the ranges that I had. Okay. I would try to help kids that wasn't, you know, didn't have food right. or monies or things like mm -hmm. that. And a lot of people kind of looked up to me mm -hmm. and I just always was about trying to, trying to help people figure out a way. That's good. So it's, I, I can't show them how to figure out a way if I'm just doing negative things. Because no right. matter what I show them, they're mm -hmm. still going to say, well, what you doing this? Exactly. And, that's and you're telling the, me to do this. Right. And that's probably the reason you can do these uh -huh. things for me. So how can that? So that's true. That and also influences mm -hmm. being lucky enough to meet people mm -hmm. that were in different places in life. Right, right. right. And that gave me a different mentality that, Things are possible. Sometimes when you're in um, low-income areas and right. things like uh -huh. that, 
you tend to look up to drug dealers Absolutely. because a lot of our parents you see working day to day and they telling you to stay in school and you're saying you're telling me to stay in school no, but, but you were sort of in school you're, and two you're jobs, struggling right. you're working two jobs right. and you're struggling like and, right and I'm seeing this guy out here girl in there and mm -hmm. they're living a life right. seeing like mm -hmm. they're driving a car exactly. that you wish you had right. and I want and and, and, and carefree. <laughs> but what you start learning when you get to meet people, um, that's why I hate the term, no new friends. That's a horrible thing. <laughs> Maybe not a friend, but associate. Right, right. You, you need new associates. Absolutely. That's how you find new levels that's right. and new things to do. That's so the I truth. start seeing that um, mm -hmm. people that I met that didn't come from my circumstances okay. had different opportunities. A different way of thinking. Different way of yes. thinking. And I start seeing, I start saying, man, you know, I might like this guy. He's driving this fancy car and he got these jewels on. Mm -hmm. But I'm seeing this guy who didn't come from that world. His parents had a degree, a two-year degree here. Maybe one was a teacher. Uh -huh. Maybe one was an engineer or one right. was a teacher. Just something. It, it's, it's not, they're, they're not brain surgeons or anything. <laughs> right. And they're staying over here in million-dollar houses. Right. And well, better than half a million. And right. I start. I always been a numbers guy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, they just paying this and this. And the car that I see the local drug dealer in driving fancy. That's mm -hmm. the kid's car he's driving <laughs> to high school. Isn't that something? So I'm like, well, uh -huh. man, he's taking penitentiary chances yeah. to do this. <laughs> and these people just, they just went working. to school. Right. They went to school and they're working. Four years of prison uh -huh. and nothing. Start over from zero right. with a felony wow. or four years of prison. I mean, four years in school and you have a that's, degree. That's right. And now they got to pay you a minimum of this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with 20 percent of that, mm -hmm. and we put it together, we could get this beautiful house, <laughs> this right. mansion and everything right. else. Right. The legit way. The legit way. And that's another thing, like I said, I wanted to at some point be able to get the kids together right. and take them on like a bus tour. Mm -hmm. I want to take them to all these neighborhoods, you know, where That's they right. see these big, beautiful houses right. you and can they have think it that one they day. can't be in. They can. And tell them, do you know the easiest way is to just go to school. Yeah. Go to school, get a degree. Just go to school, get a degree. Yeah. Or be a business owner or That's something. Right. But it's not unattainable. Right. It just takes some good credit and a little money down. That's true. You know, you spend mm -hmm. $10,000 on the rims, you spend $10,000 on the mansion. <laughs> yeah. And you got all the rims you want. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, that's right. Right. I just think that they just don't understand what it takes to get things. And a lot of times mm -hmm. we don't explain that. That's what and it if is. I never took a young man from that area right. over there to see, and they, they would probably say, if I was to ask them, how do you think this place was? got mm -hmm. or who lives in this place they would say they drugs. would say oh some kind of rapper right. or a celebrity right. or a football, basketball football player, player or something right. i say no nah, your teacher right mm -hmm. that's what they say mm -hmm. and they'd be like for real you gotta put in the work. yeah so you know <laughs> i just choices exactly. opportunity that's right and drive will get you anything you want. You can do anything you right. want. You put your mind Especially to it. Especially now with the um, young people, young mm -hmm. people, young adults, people like you and me, mm -hmm. that you can do and you can be anyone you want. Look what's going on right now in the world. Look at the election. Mm -hmm. Look what, I mean, you could do and be anybody you want. Right. Just because it, it seems like it's so far away, you can get that. It's very attainable. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I, I have to admit, you know, our current president made me feel like I could be a president one day. Yeah, I don't know can. if I you would can. want to be, <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm saying, if he can do it, anybody I can, can it. right? Can <laughs> so, I mean, you know, definitely. And, and that's another thing, like, I, being a dreamer, I love it. You're I tell it. all people, continue to dream. That's right. And there's a separation in people. Some people have given up on dreams. Mm -hmm. And some people are dreamers, and we don't it. see things eye to eye because they've given up. Right. And they say it's not up. possible, right? Yeah. And a dreamer, he's still dreaming. Uh -huh. and he's still trying to make the impossible possible. possible. It can happen. But that is very possible. Yeah, that's right. Right? All it takes is that determination, that's it. some drive. faith, mm -hmm. that drive and work, and you can make it that's all it. tangible. And, and you've done that's, that. Right. You've I've changed myself. That. Tell us about that transition. You've done that. What did you transition into after being in the streets? A person that cares, mm -hmm. a person that chooses to help and uplift and to push away. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A person that feels like no matter what I can do, that's I right. feel I'm never no better than, than you. Anybody else, right? 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 And that's how I am. When I'm on a movie set, I want to treat people better than me. <laughs> you know, right. I don't believe in the diva mentality, right. none of that's that. Good. It's like we're all here you. working. 
in order for me to be at my greatest, so do you have to be when we're working together. Yeah, because as the saying says, you're only as strong as your that's, weakest link. That's the truth, too. So that I got to make true. sure all those links are strong, uh -huh. right? <laughs> that's I true. can't be the strongest. Absolutely. So, yeah, that's pretty much. So you're into acting. Yes. Tell us He's what an you actor. Yes. Well, we went to we the went movie to the, premiere mm -hmm. of The Breaking mm -hmm. Point. Right here in Orlando. Uh, and that movie <laughs> was amazing. Cool. We had a blast. You guys like yeah. That. Yeah. So, so but from there, we know you've done so much. Mm -hmm. That's not the only movie that you've done. Right. So if you'll just tell us, which movie do you think, or would you say, that you find yourself, <laughs> yourself, in the most? Mm, that's interesting. Eric Gray. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a split because that one was one, uh -huh. and this movie I did called A Turnaround. Okay. It kind of gives mm -hmm. me that that feeling of turning around, mm -hmm. that that feeling of being somebody set in one way, but life makes you be a total different person. That's right. You made a turnaround. A turnaround, mm -hmm. right? And it's not running away from who you were right. or being ashamed. Because I'm not one bit ashamed of anything I've done. And a lot of people say, you know, if they could, they would change things. Yes, yeah, sir, small things I would change. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to change anything that wouldn't make me me. Yeah, right. that's right? what makes you you. Right, because I'm happy with me. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's a good. lot of people, we have to be happy with ourselves, right? right? That's where it right. starts. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy with me so far as my heart mm -hmm. and what I know I want people to to achieve and have okay. or whatever, right? Right. Because I like to see everybody next to me enjoying. That's right. Yeah. You know, some people want to see people at a lower no, I want to no. see everybody That's happy, all. kids, yeah. all colors, races, creeds, yeah. backgrounds. Right. I want to see us enjoy things because that's the best time. That's right. Right? That's true. The divisiveness and division is, mm -hmm. is a horrible thing. Oh, it mm -hmm. is. And it, it seems is. like that's where we're at right now. Unfortunately, yes. Right. But, you know, sometimes we have to go through the hard things to recognize what matters, right? That's Absolutely. the truth. So yes. I, I take this time, I think we all should take 2020. Yes. If I have to date it as or a whatever. Lesson. As a lesson. Mm -hmm. that Eye opener. No matter who you are, you mm -hmm. can fall. Oh, yes. You can rise. That's right. Right? That's true. But you can change. And you just have an opportunity to be better, right? Every and single day. We need to definitely um, just take a breath in, man, mm -hmm. because at any time we could possibly not be here. Mm -hmm. oh, so yeah. what are we going to do moment. with the time that we have here? That's right. Are we going to love mm -hmm. and bring light or are yeah, we, we going to bring hate? darkness, right? That's right. Because no. when we bring darkness, we also have to Dark. live in that mm -hmm. dark, right? Yeah. And don't know what's around the corner. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, yeah. There you go. You're such a humble person. I know, right? Um, you are <laughs> so very humble and just an easygoing mm -hmm. person. I think so. Yes, you are. I tell my mama this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my favorite thing to do is to be underneath a blanket watching movies. Mm. Now, I have many favorite actors. <laughs> Who are some of your favorite actors? <sighs> of course, Denzel. Of, of course. course. Jamie Foxx. Yes. Oh, love him. I think... <laughs> To me, to be able to take a character <laughs> the way he does, oh my God, <laughs> and truly transform. That's right, all the way. It's amazing. Yeah. Jamie Foxx, you hear that? It's like amazing. <laughs> like, like seriously, like you know, you watch movies um, like Ray Charles mm -hmm. and things like that. And this man is Ray Charles. Right. Yes. You forget who. Right. Well, is he the same person, right. or right. am I forgetting the old Ray Charles? Mm -hmm. like, I like, this is Ray. That's right? right. That's right. You forget Jamie. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And to me, that is amazing. But that's a good actor. But yes. that's what you do. You put yourself mm -hmm. in the role and you play that person. Right. right. Listen, forget I, about Eric. You play that person. To you Why is that? Slightly easy? be mentioned by Jamie. <laughs> Listen. I know, right? Yeah, oh, no. but, <laughs> but yeah, I, I try to put myself to a character mm -hmm. and um, I just try to see life through the eyes that he sees right. things with what gives him mm -hmm. the energy to do what it is that he, he does. does. How does he interact with people right. Right? or, or um, just how would he um, display his emotions? Mm -hmm at a certain time versus what I would do. Right. And that's another thing, you know, a lot of time in acting, you can get caught up in yourself all mm -hmm. the time. But, you know, I don't judge because to each his own. Right. Like, some people really want to see you be you in every role, <laughs> right. right? So I don't <laughs> knock that, right? It's, it's room for everybody. <laughs> right. But I just really, like, enjoy watching those people that can be 
anybody that's anything. Right. You know what role. I mean? That's what I call a good yes. actor or right. actress. My Lord. Right. Have you had a, have you cried on set yet? Have you had to do that? Uh, you know, unfortunately, I've never got a chance to really? do okay. just emotionally like well, that. Yeah, you but totally. They've had him as a hard person. Yeah, who plays I, I, that I've tough I've been guy. given a pretty a few tough guy roles. <laughs> okay. Now, there are some other films that I have played different roles that haven't made it out yet. Okay. But it's one I just did called 45 Seconds okay. where I had a chance to play a multitude of characters. Oh, really? Kind of how it's said. I get to play, um, it's kind of like a bank heist thing, but okay. I get to go in as different people. Play, Dressed you know, up African as different people? Guy, um, oh, okay. Yeah, it's an old lady. Oh, just, wow. I played a lot of different roles. Okay. Then I'm actually in the movie, an uh, actor auditioning for roles. <laughs> so you played like 10 people? Right. And then I'm like, <laughs> I've got a girlfriend. Right. And then I've got my friends and cousins. And it's uh -huh. interesting. I really enjoy that because... Mm -hmm. I got a chance to play a lot of different characters, and I and I that's what I like to do, okay. right? Because some people may think I'm always serious because that's they talent. see roles, that's, but yeah. I like to joke. Mm -hmm. I like to do other things. Like I, like I just did a horror movie, and I got to play. How was that? That was got, nice, huh? It, How was I, I enjoyed different. it. Yeah. I enjoyed uh -huh. it. I think I want to play in that genre. I saw genre, the clip. I like that. Yeah. You got to see the clip? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was good. It was creepy. <laughs> I love scary yeah. movies. Right. And that's my favorite yeah. thing, really? right? I love scary movies. Uh, you know, maybe this is the first of many scary maybe movies so. for you. Maybe so. I, I, I just think I want to um, maybe be on the other side sometime and put on some prosthetics. and Do it. Oh, wow. Just do it. Botchery and just go around. <laughs> We're yeah. looking forward to seeing it. Right. Do it. You know what? <laughs> I always have to take notes, like put it in my one note in my phone and everything, because I can't remember anything. How do you remember your lines? <laughs> that's a good question, you make yourself, right? you put your, That's how you, oh my gosh. you put yourself in, as the character. It's so hard to remember all of those lines. Mm -hmm. That's a very good question. Um, I can remember back when I got the very first chance to, to play a role and mm. they gave me that notebook. <laughs> I was like, my Here. God, yeah. how am I going to yeah. remember all of this? Like, <laughs> Woof. Like, I never <laughs> prided myself on having that great of memory, but, <laughs> but you know, once you read it, and you, if you point. like it, mm -hmm. it calls you. It's kind of those words begin to just fly off that page, mm -hmm. because when you become that character, you start to think how that character think. Right. So some of these words just naturally in the form of the rope, that's how they come out of you. So there it's you there, go. but it's coming out of you right. anyways. Okay. So it seems like it'd be a lot, but if you like it and you really mm -hmm. like that character, mm -hmm. those words become okay. you and they stick to you. It's like a song. Mm -hmm. You know how you remember mm -hmm. a song? Oh, yes. mm -hmm. Now you might cut the music off and can't say none of those words, <laughs> right? None of the right. lyrics. You're right. like, I might know three or four to right. the book. Right. But when it's on in the music and you're kind of in it, yeah. well, I'm in the moment. I'm that character and I'm in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. That's a good actor, though. Mm -hmm. That's good. You probably played the role better than what they even thought it could be played. Like, Hopefully wait a minute. so. Wait a minute. Hopefully so. <laughs> That's good. Y'all tell me. <laughs> <laughs> what keeps Eric mastering and pushing so hard to just be the best that you can be. What What is it about Eric that, that has you just, I can't stop, I can't quit, I've got to do it, I've got to get there? Mm -hmm. Well, first off, for me, my kids. That's there right. You, go. you know, That's for it. me, they are everything. They give nice. me all my energy, there you go. all of my everything. Like, I really um, enjoy every second with them because they That's grow it. so fast. Oh, how, yes. old, how many kids do you have? I have four. Okay. Oh, wow. right, so I have three girls and my little, little sister, boy. Little boy. Oh, oh my goodness. And, um, I just love spending time. Yeah, with that's I, a blessing. A you know, great maybe role Maybe I don't model. get some time to myself, but I, for me, it's like I don't need self time. I just enjoy them. them. Because me growing up and single families mm -hmm. and, and, and going through that stuff. Right. And, um, man, I always kind of model myself after one in a family. Okay. So I always think about me as a kid mm -hmm. and the emotions I felt and maybe I wanted right. to be closer to a particular exactly. man and have more time. Mm -hmm. So I make myself make sure okay. I give that time and more to my kids. That's you know, good. They control my days. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. That's wonderful. They, and I know they just love their daddy. You're a great role model. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
you know, to them. And I try them. to be. That's right. I try That's to good. be. I mean, I nobody's to. perfect. No. You know what I'm saying? Human. But, you know, for them to watch you and the things that you do. Right. You know, that you give back and, and you do all these movies and, you know, you're in the community. They are probably like, look at my daddy. Daddy, <laughs> daddy. That's my daddy. That's my daddy. I try to take them with me as much as I can That's on some good. of these things. So That's they good. they get a chance to see mm -hmm. it. And um, it's funny, they actually, for Halloween, they just randomly, like, 10 o'clock, and excuse me, teachers, and uh, it was a school night, they decided uh -huh. they wanted to do a Halloween movie, probably right. like a week before Halloween, uh -huh. and they just got the little phones, and they made a movie. And I was so surprised at how it turned out, I Watching was kind of amazed, I was like, hey, y'all did all that? That's right. right. Wow, Watching they did a you. part two, and See? I was like, okay, <laughs> okay. My my daughter was like, yeah, daddy, we um, we can put this on YouTube, or maybe you could put it. So we gonna put it on Netflix. I was like, oh, you got a deal on that? <laughs> All right, right. so you thinking you the right way, right? Yeah, let's make this money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they gonna do that. I fold movie, but That's let's okay. do it. They're That's trying right. though, but yeah. that shows you that they watch. Right. Yeah. Kids watch. They sure do. They might want to do that one day. They might want to be an actor or an actress. You never know. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that they do, I'm going to definitely support them. That's you know, right. You, you have to. Just, you, you have, have to. to. And mm -hmm. encourage. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Our kids, they're very impressionable. What advice would you give to our young people today? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Don't get caught up in trends. Mm. Be a leader, not a follower. follower. That's right. Listen to your heart. Mm -hmm and utilize your mind. There you go. Um, and dream. Yes. That's right. There's no dream that you have that you can't achieve. I don't Correct. care if you're dreaming of flying. Yep. If you it believe it enough, I feel one day you'll be Superman or woman, whichever it is. Mm -hmm. But, um, and know that time is very short. Mm -hmm. Very. So, those days and those hours and those minutes that we speak of, man, right. they pass. Because yes. I remember I was a kid. That's right. And now look. When you're a teenager, then you, you know, and it just keep going. Mm -hmm. And to us, it seemed like yesterday. And to the kids, it seemed like so far from them. Right. And I always let them know I was just you. That's right. And as a matter of fact, I still feel like I'm <laughs> you. But I know I'm not when I look at my ID, but you know what I mean? Right. So utilize this time. time. And this time when you're young, you get to cultivate and grow anything you want. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. Anything you Love want. Because so you got nothing but time ahead. That's and right. things take time. It does. Then you get to a point to where you don't have time ahead. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you're thinking back. Yes. I wish I woulda, coulda, shoulda. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. We can't even talk, take back this interview from where we started. Time sure has can. passed. Yeah, That's no, over. Done. That's done. sealed. Can't right? get that back. That's right. So they have to understand that it's very important. That's true. Mm -hmm. I like what? that. 2020 has been horrendous. Mm -hmm. And I really want to talk about this. As a black man, mm -hmm. what do you feel about this police brutality and the social injustice that's going on? Mm. It's disheartening because you, I say, I just took um, some kids and I was like, y'all, I want y'all to watch this movie. It was like a 12 years a slave. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. the young kids, they're like 15 and like 18. And now they watch their phones and they're set in their own world, mm -hmm. right? They don't have to look at anything outside of what they want to look at right. because the algorithm is going to give them more of what they're like right. and they never get to see, see anything it. else, mm -hmm. right? So right. when we were younger, we had to watch sometime what your mom had mm -hmm. on TV, exactly. stories, yes. the news, grandma. Mm -hmm. You had to kind of accept some things that you didn't really want to, <laughs> right. Right? right? They don't have to. They no, know. they have so options. So they get lost mm -hmm. to an extent and mm -hmm. then don't understand. No, I always tell people if you don't know where we where you come from you don't know where we're you're going. going absolutely we don't have to sit and just 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 always be in that time but we got to understand that so we can know who we are and where we want to go yeah, that's right. and um i wanted them to watch that because i wanted them to see <laughs> the horrific things that yeah. we live through and it's probably amazing they're probably shocked to even right? see it and then they asked for like, oh this was it yeah this like yeah this really happened and guess mm -hmm. what it was worse than what you look oh, yes. at this is just what they want to put on <laughs> camera right right and what makes it even bad this is not 2,000 years ago, you right. looking at it like, man, this was so long ago. No, no. some of your great grandparents, they, they can tell the story, this. right? Some of your grandmas, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, 
that's how close that is, right? Right. And they they need to understand that. And me coming from where I came from and dealing with police and different things, whether it was when I was on the wrong side of the road or mm -hmm. the right side of the road, um, I just saw a lot of things that fuel people to want to, you know, go wrong. Right. Because it's been times where people have had the opportunity to make things better and they came and they just brought gasoline to fires, to fire. right? Mm -hmm. But it's an interesting conversation because my father told me years ago he wanted to be a police officer. He was going to okay. do it for a job or for whatever, right? Mm -hmm. we got school. And he said the, um, the, when he was getting interviewed, the guy told him, the chief told him, well, we want to hire you because you're a thinker. We don't need nobody to think. Okay. We oh. need you to just act. Wow. We need you to do. We don't need to you think. deciding mm -hmm. what, oh, who should go to jail, who don't. That's <laughs> what the judge is for. Right? Oh, my goodness. Wow. You just go get them like a goon and you... We don't, Bring them in. And I was talked to other police officers and they've told me the same thing, right? And that's a bad thing, right, when you really think about right. it. Right. I mean, I understand from a business standpoint, right? right? But, I mean, from a humanity these standpoint. These are people's lives. Right, yeah. these mm -hmm. are people's lives. You know, a charge can change this person's future forever. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. it, can, it can sway them completely. Mm-hmm. And I'm not one to say all police are bad. No. Because that's not what I'm saying. No. But I'm just saying when people are talking about police brutality and I've been hearing about defunding the police and mm -hmm. things of that nature, my concept is it's not about defunding, it's re-education. Yes, there you go. Right? Right. It, it's not about taking away some money. It's about we have to change the fundamental way that we right. do police. Yeah, that's it. Right? Right. And we have to understand... Where did policing come from? You know, people didn't understand. Police kind of came about after slavery was over. Mm -hmm. And they were like the overseers. <laughs> right. And they were utilized to, uh, when, when, when there was no more black men working on these, these, these farms or whatever mm -hmm. for free, right. they would pick them up for any little small charge Anything. and put them in prison. And mm -hmm. they would have to work for free again. So you out. would be a slave again, right? Right, right. So now, when we start understanding where policing come from, mm -hmm. it's an inherited prejudice within it anyway. Right. That's why when I heard it was no such thing as systematic racism, mm -hmm. that was the horrible, that was disgusting to mm -hmm. me. That's right. So you telling me my life, my father's life, and my grandfather's mm -hmm. life has been a lie. Mm -hmm. We That's were just it... imagining a world, right? Right. No. No. Wrong. Right. Wrong. No. I've been on dark roads and been pulled over mm -hmm. doing nothing right. and was told I was smoking weed in the car. Right. And, and I, I wasn't. I was, and it was my mom's car. She right. would have killed me if I'd have been smoking <laughs> in her car, worse uh -huh. than the police. Right. And I'm like, no. It's right. like, oh, you gonna tell me you smoke weed? I'm gonna ask you one more time. And you know, they reach for the gun. Oh my goodness. And it's just me and them. And I'm like, okay. And like, you know, I could kid told me straight up, I could kill you out here. Nobody You're would know me. nothing my about goodness. it. Oh yeah. Come oh, on. Gosh. Yeah. So it's 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 some oh. truth in this. Yes. And there all is. he wanted me to is just agree with him, which yes. is so crazy, was that I was smoking. And so I, I wasn't. said, hey, and yeah, you I weren't. was smoking. Yeah. And he's like, that's all you had to say. Wow. <laughs> All right, sir. Go he just wanted to hear that. Day. Yeah. So I've been in this. I know how it goes. You right. know. You're so not just making up a story. I'm not this is something story you've been through. Just to talk. No, yes. I, I, I've been there. And so <laughs> many people have that same story, and it's mm -hmm. so sad. And right. it, is, it is. And you know, mm -hmm. I'm still not one to just. I'm just gonna throw everybody out. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's. All of them are bad. No, it's not all. But the thing is, as we all know, the saying says, one bad apple spoils the, the bunch. One. But a hundred good apples don't do <laughs> nothing to a bad one. Oh, gosh. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Right? Don't do nothing to the bad one. The only way you can do something to that bad one is to throw it away. That's mm -hmm. it. And until they come out and throw those people away, because some people fresh out of high school and had all kind of, they needed just like when you mm -hmm. go and apply for a particular job right. and do an aptitude test to find out if you have the type of uh, mentality or character that to need do that to be job. in sales or in this job. Correct. They need that for the police. They That's need right. their aptitude test. Mm -hmm. right. They need to do some background on sure. them. Not about if they had a felony. Background, mental, But everything. mental. How were mm -hmm. they in school? Right, you know, yes. did this? Do we have issues? Mm -hmm. Did this? Because yeah, they need to change it. Because the you have to be honest. Being a police officer is probably the most powerful position it is. And on they earth. don't even get paid. These people are in control of life 
or, or death. death. These people can kill you and mm -hmm. not nothing do anything. Nothing, happens. nothing will happen. They can choose mm -hmm. whether you should live or, or die. die on whatever action. So they're God, right? The demigods around here. And they people really don't think, think about so. this. They think so. We always try to get so much deeper than what it really is. Mm -hmm. But these people are... So anybody in control of life or death needs to be very well educated very in these well. things. Very well. Not just and how We don't many even weeks, know if that's enough, uh, right? How many weeks is the police oh. academy or... Oh, I forgot. I don't know if it's three months. Not five enough. Months. I don't know. Because it take you longer to be a doctor, and you're trying to give life. <laughs> Isn't that something? It's true. Well said. Yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> but you know, these people they take things personal and it's anti-police. Mm -hmm. No, we know we need police because it, without structure, we know a lot of us go crazy oh. and do oh, all yeah. kinds. You know, we we sometimes we want to make a call and it's whatever about somebody's this or that mm -hmm. happened. We understand that, mm -hmm. right? But when I have to worry about making a call and I get arrested. Isn't that something? I've been in situations like that where I had to call about somebody breaking in the car and the mm -hmm. next thing you know, the they police at my you. house they want questioning your ID. me <laughs> and want to know what yeah. I got going on. And I'm like, hey, I just called you about my car. Right. And it's like, I've been in a situation where one guy <laughs> telling me to do something and the other guy keep grabbing his gun, mm -hmm. talking about, I told you to stay still. And I'm like, well, this guy telling me to do, do this. Do, right. And then you got a gun. And Come then on, that police so officer like, like yeah, he had a situation where somebody rolled up and shot it. That's not my problem. No. He shouldn't be here if he's, uh, you know, mm -hmm. having PTSD <laughs> or whatever it is he's that's scared. going yeah. on, right? right? And that's a mental health, once mental again. Health. That's mm -hmm. what it they is. They need mental health checks. Yes, absolutely. We Listen, we could go on and on and on. Oh, yes. But you already know. Yeah, we're but we wanted over. your input. Yes. We really oh, wanted. We definitely oh, needed to hear that right. from a black man standpoint. Exactly. How you felt about that. Mm. Oh, yeah. And I just want to add just one mm -hmm. last thing. Um, I remember the situation with Philando Castile. Yes, yes. That touched me more than any other time mm. because I watched a man who did everything right. Mm -hmm. We know he wasn't a criminal because he had a gun right, license. Right, right, right. He's in the car with his girlfriend and a child and was shot and killed in front of that and child. Something? And the she daughter had to watch it, she had to watch and it, and he had it. to watch himself die wow. in front of his kids who you were sworn to protect. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? And instead of them trying to figure out a way to help him survive, mm -hmm. to sit there and watch him, him die. die. And that forever changed me, because that just showed that, man, we are so vulnerable. Oh, yes, yes. We are. And things that are outside of our mm -hmm. control have so much control over, over what us. happens. That's and true. I'll never forget, I had a particular car and the window had messed up. Mm -hmm. And it kind of bothered me because I was like, man, I, I can't roll the window down. They made just shooting the Should car be. with the kids. And I remember mm -hmm. I had a girlfriend. She was like, man, you got that window fixed fast because if those people say put your hand out the window and you, you can't. don't, they may think and you got 10 on the car and then you got to open the car. Mm -hmm. That's and true. I had never really felt a fear like that. I, I don't, I'm not one to fear anything. Mm -hmm. But it just made me feel, because I was thinking about my kids. Right. It's never me worried, because right. I'm not I'm not scared. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is what it is. But your children. my kids, that have to see that. Right. I just would feel like I failed them, I mean, even though that's out of my right. hands. Mm -hmm. So traumatic. But mm -hmm. yeah, just to have that feeling, just let me know, man, wow. Mm -hmm. This so is sad. 20, whatever it was at the time. Was mm -hmm. it 2020, and we still going through still these going same through it. things. Mm -hmm. and, and the people that know they took us through this, have not st stood up and said that. You know, I feel like when they say race relations, we should do this. Come out and be honest. Get on From that microphone. Start. Get on TV and right. say, listen, we, we took you. We enslaved you. Mm -hmm. We molested. We killed. We beat. We wouldn't let you get an education. Mm -hmm. All these things for hundreds of years. Wow. They and that. We still give you your problems and act and not understanding why you're not on this level. Right. Everything that makes America great is because <laughs> of the bloodshed of my ancestors. That's right. Absolutely. That's right. Every riches of every uh, company that's mm -hmm. here, textile, to anything that's else, my ancestors. anybody that's from here, mm -hmm. European, otherwise, that have attained a level of riches, especially right. from their ancestors or passed on, was passed on because we work for free. Yeah, that's the truth. And if you know economy, mm -hmm. if I'm going to work for free and you retain all the money, mm -hmm. you're going to be rich <laughs> and I'm going to be poor. Right. Right? And here we are. And if I can't be educated, 
then how am I ever going to surpass that? But no other species, no other human, mm -hmm. no other race has ever came from that type of thing. They wouldn't be able to handle to it, power. though, I don't believe. I right. don't think they can handle it. So I'm still, you know, we knock ourselves. But, man, we haven't been 100 years out of real slavery. And look, we've been presidents. We got the first black vice president. Right. We hold positions in state and Congress and business. That's right. The world love us in entertainment and sports and everything right. else. Right. All our music is all over the radio. Mm -hmm. It could be whatever commercial mm -hmm. with not one of us in it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that but I feel like we have to be strong and vocal about us as black people, That's right. it's a minority thing, but I, I have to speak directly to black people because right. we made it possible Correct. for all other races mm -hmm. to come to America yes. and have a chance to get a slice of that apple pie. But a be, lot of people don't know that, though. Right. They don't want to believe that. Right, and if you would ask me, I think just like when you're coming to get your papers and you got to learn about American history, part of that American history should be a big segment on it what should. the black American has done. done and on top of that I feel like a tax should be paid to the black community because without so us too. you wouldn't have that opportunity mm. you wouldn't be able to come here and right. vote you wouldn't be able to come here and get a right. job you right. wouldn't be able to come here and be treated equal right? Right. right but I see so many people come here and then they want to treat us like second-class citizens mm. exactly. and then we get bunched in the circle mm -hmm. with everybody no we're, we we are different that's right we have to get our preach props. It. You preach. give Not the Sunday, Indians casinos. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. Preach. But it's like true, you though. You give them casinos <laughs> and all this and that. Right. And we get nothing. We don't get a tax nothing. break. We get nothing. Yes. We have to stop. And I feel I like 2020, we have to We have mm -hmm. to honestly get out here. We got to mm -hmm. change in local elections. Mm -hmm. We got to change in statewide elections. And we have to change in That's elections true. that deal with the whole That's country. True. And we have to be vocal. We have to start we putting to. that money into people going up and gerrymandering and just doing mm -hmm. different things for mm -hmm. us as a people. And we have to do it together. And we have to do it together. Not it don't matter if you're Muslim or she's matter. Christian or she's Baptist or Pentecostal or Seventh-day Adventist. The one thing, we're black. Right. That's it. Because when somebody walk up to you, they don't know what religion you mm -hmm. in. They just see you. It's two things that a person notices. Your race and, your, and are you a male or woman. That's it. You know yeah, what I mean? It. Period. And then after that is the conversation, right? Yeah, right. Until you speak. Mm -hmm. And this is the things that we have to mm -hmm. go hard on. Because right. it's showing that time can go backwards. We said how. We're not going to let look that happen. Look where we at right now. It looked like we almost had a chance to be in a dictatorship. Yep. Now I understand how Hitler came to power. God Listen, is, because God is so good. We have to give him a part two look, because we got to go. God, God, is, well, so, no, no, God is so good that, <laughs> yes, we get, that, that did not take place. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. So yes. I'm happy. We're going to have a great 2021. Oh, right? yes. We're going to beat right. the COVID. That's, That's right. right. So we can start seeing our beautiful faces That's more. right. Instead of covering it up. Right. right. <laughs> like, some of us, it's a positive thing, right? No, it's just, it's... <laughs> Eric, we're so happy that you came today. I'm glad you invited me. Tell me what you have going on. What's new? What can we expect from Eric? Um, just expect more work. That's right. Just That's expect right. to okay. see me more. Good. You know, take some time out. Eric Gray, pay attention. Eric, we're paying attention. That's right. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? I mean? Eric Gray. Tell them how Definitely. they can reach you now. Tell them how they can reach you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can reach me at Eric underscore Gray. Okay. G R E Y, uh -huh. not A Y. It's E R I K, <laughs> not the C. Uh -huh. E R I K underscore Gray. Uh -huh. Or you can catch me on Facebook if that's what you want to do, uh -huh. Eric Gray. And, um, I'm always available, we'll okay. say, right? We'll be awesome. looking out, awesome. we'll be looking out or, for you. Hold on. Mm -hmm. You also can support me if you like uh, black business or business. Mm -hmm. And I employ a lot of minorities, you know. Okay. Okay. I employ everybody. But um, I have a tax firm. Oh, okay. So we deal with numbers, and we okay, want to okay. make sure that people get their taxes taken care okay, of. Okay, good. And with the level of unemployment mm -hmm. that's happened this year, it's going to be a lot of people not knowing what to do. And we can take care of you. There you go. And you can check us out at Cashback Mobile Tax Service. Okay. All right. Cashback. Cash cash All right. All Mobile right. Tax service. We thank you so yeah. much for joining us. <laughs> yes, we hope that you'll you. come back and join oh, us. Anytime. Good. We wish you so much success. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. And thank the same you. to you too. Thank we you. Appreciate All it. All right. All right. We want to thank you for joining us this evening. Please tune in next Tuesday at 6 p.m. for another transformational story. In closing, 
There's a quote that says, what does not kill you makes you stronger. Our experiences make us who we are. Eric has shown us that no matter how many obstacles we may face in life, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. We are real sisters sharing real stories within our community. We thank you for tuning in to talk about it, the Candid Conversation Show. Go, go. Hey.